and friends, Rev Kev coming to you from Bloom's office in our regular weekly chat. You know, it's kind of interesting to be at home when I'm watching television and we watch YouTube <clears throat> at home. Uh, you know, kind of a combination between YouTube and YouTube Live as well as some of the other streaming services. And uh, the fact of the matter is it's kind of disconcerting for me every once in a while when we're watching some train show like, you know, ride through the Siber Siberia on the Trans-Siberian Express um, and, and then up pops a video of uh, BloomTube um, and, and uh, it's, it's there among all the rest of them. Um, well, I haven't gone viral yet and uh, neither has our Sunday morning service, but we're still there um, on YouTube and one of the things I want to encourage you to do is to subscribe to the Bloom in the Desert Ministries UCC channel on YouTube and you can also click a little bell so that whenever these come on um, you are first uploaded you get a notice and uh, you can also note if you are watching uh, YouTube um, you can over on the side uh, down at the bottom it says subscriptions and if you click on that you can you know Bloom can be one of your subscriptions in that area. The reason I say that is because, you know, there are ways in which we can help one another. And one of the ways we can help each other is, uh, for example, if you find something interesting in what I'm talking about, or if you are um, enjoying our worship on Sunday morning in a uh, post Sunday morning time, not the live time, but you're watching it on YouTube, please, you know, mention that. It, it'd be great to be able to hear from some folks. We do have the comments turned on, um, and we hope we can continue to do that uh, unless somebody gets abusive, but I am, you know, pleased to do that. Another reason that I'm thinking about that is because um, I know that these next few weeks are going to be really intense emotionally and mentally and therefore physically because uh, it's a trite phrase to say this election is like no other. But, you know, I lived through 1968 and I lived through the Vietnam War, although, you know, I wasn't voting yet then. Um, and then I, uh, you know, have been in other elections and there has never been one where it has been the sort of rapid fire cacophony of kinds of things that logical people find it almost impossible to process in any sort of real time healthy experience. And so there's a lot of um, uh, stimulus uh, coming at us and it's not all good. And people are having to learn how to cope. You now some people you know, turn it all off and tune it all out and that's a good thing, but not everybody's able to do that. We in the, our faith and faith traditions have traditions of meditation and uh, um, you know, uh, following up on that. And so I would encourage uh, you to um, find some way to be able to pause. Um, if it starts to feel overwhelming, stop what you're doing if you can and, and pause. Take some deep breaths and, and try to let the onslaught, the, let the storm blow over. Um, and many times three very deep breaths can help with that. I've talked in the past about repeating uh, as kind of a mantra the words from Julian of Norwich, all shall be well and all shall be well and all manner of thing shall be well. And to say that 10 times and by the time you say it the 10th time, the situation, uh, your, your feelings, your emotions, the situation may have changed a little bit. But, and, and online, there are some resources like Calm online and other kinds of resources that you can find and be able to utilize. And I would totally, totally, totally recommend that you have some of these arrows in your quiver as we suffer the outrageous fortunes, you know, the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune uh, for the Hamlet uh, soliloquy um, and in, in the days to come and perhaps in the months following. So, um, in probably all likelihood, the months following. So, I want to offer that. Well, the other thing is, um, if you're watching this, and you've got a, something that you do to help yourself in times like this, when there's a lot of pressure and a lot of anxiety, 
um, please, if you know, if you can, without violating confidence, or if you think it's something helpful, please feel free to uh, comment to post that. Comment on YouTube, comment on Facebook, comment uh, uh, when you see this on uh, you know Facebook as a part of um, our Bloom Notes. Uh, if you want to send me a note, an email, and say I've um, you know taken to this technique and it's really helpful, go ahead and share it with people. I'm happy to pass that information along. Because the whole thing, one of the whole important things to remember about our faith and our spirituality is that we are meant to be bearers of healing and goodwill in the world. Healing, goodwill, peace in the world. Those are the, the important parts. And even from a standpoint of our heritage going through the Hebrew scriptures, the, the, the focus was to mend the breach. Mending, not just filling, mending. And we can do that starting with ourselves and then maybe pitching in to be able to help one another. Hope that you'll be with us in church on Sunday, live on Facebook, uh, Facebook Live at the Bloom page and then some of the other pages bloom page bloom in the desert ministries ucc um, you are able to connect with us then uh, we look forward to uh, being together at that time and then it's recorded and uh, uh, uploaded so that it's on youtube uh, certainly hopefully within a day or so after that every once in a while we get a little glitch with the upload and uh, we have to restart it and do it over so i'm sorry when there are delays but that's what it is but you can comment and feel free to do that commenting and also on youtube remember to subscribe and we will appreciate that uh, and that's a way in which you then might also get some notifications of when that's up there uh, so we hope to see you if we don't see if you know if we don't see you in church uh, we hope to uh, you know, connect with you soon. And as always, let's keep each other in our prayers.